So what we have here is a broken patio heater. You usually see these at restaurants. They stand up pretty high where people who are going to smoke can hang out outside and not freeze to death outside. Um, it's been working great. It's been about a year we've had this. And as of the last couple days, I went to try it out and lo and behold, nothing happens. The igniter's working. I believe the gas was coming through just fine, but something was stopping the pilot light from lighting and creating the, uh, the flame. So what I've done is I did a little research on the web and they kind of showed me a couple different things to try. Uh, the first one being the most important, they say, to try first. So what I've done here is I've taken this unit apart. You can see it's basically held together by these little screws. It kind of all fits together as one unit. So you've got to be really careful. You've got to set it down first or else the whole top will fall right off when you unloosen these screws here. Um, you also have to unloosen these screws here because you have to get this little plate off of the device. So I've gone ahead and I've already taken all these screws out. So let's just gently take this off. Pops right off like that. And that kind of exposes you to the guts of the patio heater. Uh, there's your sparker. This is a little switch that is a safety switch. Just in case you screw up, it shuts you off for five minutes. And you're going to wait five minutes to turn it back on. Um, you can spin it around here and see it a little better, hopefully. What we're going for today is this guy right here, this little tube. Uh, this is a little copper tube that carries gas up through the tube, up through this copper tube, and then right up into the burner where it obviously does combustion and gets the flame started. Apparently these things could get gummed up by spider webs, uh, carbon buildup, dirt, dust, things like that. So what we had to do is again take the shell off of here and see this little screw on the side of here? Just give it a few turns just to the point where it feels like it's going to fall out, but not quite. It's right about there, it seems like it wants to stop. And then, if you pull this little guy out gently, not too hard, because you will bend this and break this right off. It kind of fits in there just right, so you've got to be gentle with it. And you'll notice there's a little hole on the top here, if you can see that. You just want to gently use your finger and get any little dust and carbon buildup off of there, whatever you can do. Now the trick was up inside of here. When I first took this off and tipped it upside down, as you can see here, all this stuff came out of it. It was, I could literally see up inside of there, it was gummed up with all this carbon buildup and whatnot. Um, I didn't see spider webs or anything like that, but what I did is I took a skewer and I kind of just went up there with it and just gave it a gentle, you know, clean out like this. And, you know, you can see that carbon buildup coming right off of there. So I did that a little bit, got all this stuff out of there, tipped it up one more time, just gave it a little shake just to make sure all that came out and a lot of it came out. I can actually see up inside of that tube now, which I couldn't before. So now, if you're comfortable getting everything out of there, let's just gently push this guy up, and, up into place, give it a gentle push, and this screw holds that right into place. So give it a little hand tighten here, not too tight, right about there is about as tight as it'll go. That holds this in place so it can't pop back out. Um, and that's pretty much it. So at this point, you'd want to put everything back together again, uh, the screen goes on, it goes back into these little grooves, the screws go on here, and then this whole piece screws back onto this piece down here. Push that tube right back down there, and hopefully if all goes well, we should have a working patio heater. Be very careful with these screens. Um, as you can see here, I'm wearing a Band-Aid. I've already sliced my finger once today on this. This is almost like razor sharp right here on the side, so be really careful taking this off. You might want to wear gloves when you're taking that off, and uh, otherwise, I'm going to stop the video and start this guy up and see if it works. See you next time. So I just put this patio heater back together again after we cleaned out what I told you to clean out, which was this little tube up inside of here. And lo and behold, my non-working patio heater is working perfectly fine once again. It's hard to see because it's daytime, but I think you can see a little bit of that flame coming out of there now, and it feels nice, nice and hot. So that's all it was. It was just a clogged tube. You get spider webs up in there and dirt and gunk and all kinds of other stuff. All you gotta do is clean that tube out and you'll have a perfectly good working patio heater that I almost threw out today because I figured it was something up in here that couldn't be fixed. But there you have it, as simple as that. And we have a beautiful, nice, super hot, I gotta turn that off, super hot patio heater working once again. Hope you enjoyed, see you next time.